Baby, be in love with your fantasies. I can be a star, make a sky so bright. Welcome to my dungeon. This is ecstasy. Let me play the fantasy. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And we're back, back like we never left. Yeah, we're back in the building with another reaction. Actually, another comedy reaction. Uh, we're going to be checking out Shane Gillis. And the title of this one is Why White People Like Country Music. Y'all, we in Texas, so y'all already know. White people down here, they love country, hey, they love country music down here. That, that's all I know. <laughs> Black people, too. Yeah, we all do. We all do. But <laughs> Shane Gillis is about to tell us why white people like country music so much. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification yeah. bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. And shoot, let's go ahead and get into this video, y'all. All right, and this is our first time checking out Shane Gillis as well. Yeah, yeah. I know. I just moved to New York this year, and uh, yeah, it's all right. New York's all right. It's nice. I, I like mm. it more than I thought I would, but uh, I just just found out I was fat. Just th I'm 31. I just this year found out that I was a fat guy. I'm from a white trash enough town that this was killing it. <laughs> People back home see me. They're like, "What's your fucking secret?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm just hanging out, man." <laughs> Not a secret. Mostly hang out. <laughs> And then, I don't know, I moved, uh, I moved to Philly first. I lived in Philly for like two years. Yeah, gay birds. And then, uh, but it was funny because I moved like from a white trash town to Philly like right during the presidential election. <laughs> you, you pussies. Uh, everybody, everybody got I mean, quiet. It was funny because like, that was a big jump. I went from like an all white trash town to, then, to the city where now all my new friends were like real woke. And that was like, cause if, like, if this was my hometown, someone could just walk in here in full camouflage and sit down and you'd be like, that's a fucking good outfit. <laughs> are you, are you trying to get pussy in here tonight, dude? Come on, man. You're going full camo at Clusterfest, all right? He said, that's a good outfit. Like everybody I grew up with listens to country music. And I don't, but I get it. Like I understand why white people like it. You know, like you can relate to it. You can understand all the lyrics. You don't need to Google what a nene is. A <laughs> nene? Like, I don't know if you know this. Every country song's just about exactly what a white guy's doing at that moment. It's like, I turn the radio up. It's like, yeah, fuck yeah. That's good. That's music. That's what I like. I get it. You can relate to it. I ride around. I listen to rap. That's all I listen to. I can't relate to one fucking song. <laughs> I just ride around by myself, bob my head, just like, I beat the pussy up. It's like, oh, huh. <laughs> I, I, like, I don't know if I beat it up. Like, I'm like, I'll shadow box the pussy. I've never, <laughs> never knocked it out. Everyone's knocking out pussy. I've never knocked it out. Oh, I, no, man. I'm more like Floyd Mayweather with a pussy. Very technical. <laughs> very defensive. <laughs> what the? That's all I listen to. I just ride around, listen to people brag about how good they are at sex. I don't think I've ever made a girl make a sound with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Except like when I lay on them at first and they're like, oh. <laughs> As it just, oh, Jesus, mister. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, good. So that's Yo. where I'm from. <laughs> and then I moved to the city, and here, let me lose you again real quick. Uh, it was right during the presidential election, and uh, it was funny because all my friends went from like white trash to like I said woke, and they were all like, they were all like, did you guys all vote Democrat? Did anybody here vote? Like, do you guys do you guys remember how like con like they really go there? <laughs> you saw everybody got like extremely it quiet. It got like crickets up in the room. <laughs> anybody vote? Democrat, <laughs> and everybody is quiet. Everybody like, like uh, cross their legs. Uh, see what had happened was. If I did or not, but you know, <sighs> I'm just sitting in the seat and laugh. Okay, okay, Shane Gillis, he tripping right now. Yeah, he tripping yeah. right now. He said, I might be like Floyd Mayweather. I might, I might shadow box it a little bit, but I ain't never just beat up the dealer. <laughs> 
Do you guys, do you guys remember how like confident you guys were? <laughs> going into that last one? <laughs> uh, you remember that? Like a little borderline arrogant going into that. All right, don't let it cost you again. <laughs> no, I relax, relax. I did not vote for him. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, act I actually did not vote for him, which that was tough. Look at me. His whole campaign was at me. I was watching TV. He was like, are you a fucking fat idiot? I was like, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> what the fuck are we doing, dude? We're building walls? Hell yeah. He's like, what's the play? I took skull out of my mouth to come up here. <clears throat> And I didn't vote for Donald Trump. Makes me like the Nelson Mandela of central Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You guys are all right. I want you guys to know, though, I do have black friends. <laughs> no, it's nice having black friends when the rest of your friends are just fucking goofy white guys. It's nice. You get some outside perspective some advice. You just gotta be careful of the advice you take from your black friends when it comes to like sex. <laughs> when you look like Uncle Buck, it doesn't Uncle translate. Buck. <laughs> like, this is the advice my friend gave me when I went on a date with this chick. He was like, hey, yo, Shane, you don't wanna go too deep in the pussy. She's always gonna want the dick. He's like, you're, you're worried about depth? <laughs> like depth is a, I didn't even know they had depth. <laughs> I'm just happy to be there. You're worried about like depth is an issue? He was like, you don't want to give her the whole dick. I'm like, that's all I have. <laughs> I've never been like halfway in and been like, oh, oh. You gotta earn the rest of this. <laughs> like, that's insane. Depth? That's crazy. I'm worried about like the noises I'm making. Like I just, I just sound like, like a shitty ghost the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> Why? Oh, uh, depth. For my face, you ever worry about your face when you're fucking? Don't do it. Don't, don't think about how dumb you look. You'll end up looking like a fucking psycho trying to look handsome. The whole <laughs> just... <laughs> it's not good. It's worse for me if I let it go. Like, if I just let my face go during sex, like, I, I look like Brandon Dassey from Making a Murderer, the whole just. <laughs> the girl's down there, it's like, did you do it? I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. No way. Now, he went all the way with this one right here for sure. He is hilarious, though. I've never heard of Shane Gillis uh, before. Have I haven't you? either. No, I haven't either. Okay. Y'all got to tell us, like, I'm just curious to know, like, how did, like, where, <laughs> where did he come from? Like, he came, he come from a small town. Yeah, okay. Where they were camouflage. <laughs> and he moved to Philadelphia. Yeah. To New York, okay? And he has black friends. <laughs> Like he needed to tell. He was that. like, I've never, I've never, I never considered death. Oh my There's god. There's death. There's a such thing as death. Yeah, yeah. There's a bro. Such thing. Bro, there's a such thing as death now. <laughs> Go ahead. You got you gotta make an ask for the rest of it. Make an ask for the rest of it, Shane. I knew just... you was gonna say something else like. Oh wait, let's just wait for it. Let's just... Let's just wait for it to come, y'all, because I don't know what he's about to say. Yeah. Okay. No, but we did but we did <laughs> learn why white people like country music. Yeah. You can understand everything that they say. You can understand all the lyrics <laughs> and, and everything that they saying in a song it's is exactly <laughs> is exactly what they're doing right now. Turn up the radio. Cut the radio up. <laughs> Crack the top on the Budweiser. Okay. Go ahead. I went and bought a present. I'm going to go and surprise her. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> that's what they're doing. In every country song, that's what they, they talk about what they're doing right now. No, at this man. immediate moment. Okay, not the, not, <laughs> not the going to go surprise her. 
<laughs> okay, y'all yeah. gotta tap in. Yeah, should we do more Shane Gillis? Let us know what y'all think about this in the comment section. And if y'all enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from H and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're gonna see y'all in the next video. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We gone. Bye.